HVAC. While there is homeowner maintenance work to be done on the outside of your home, the interior is where you'll find yourself performing most of your regular maintenance tasks. From your appliances, wall and flooring surfaces, to your HVAC, plumbing and electrical systems, your home's interior contains many components that require regular and proper maintenance. Your HVAC system, which stands for heating, ventilation and air conditioning, has several important functions. It heats and cools the air inside your home in order to keep you and your family at comfortable temperatures. It also helps reduce indoor humidity, circulating the air inside your home while cleaning it through an air filter. It's very important to keep your HVAC system in good operating condition. Be sure to read the owner's manual for your HVAC equipment and thermostat for important information about maintaining the system, keeping your home at comfortable temperatures, and minimizing your energy costs. Air filters and vent grills. A quality air filter is a very important part of the plan for keeping your HVAC system operating properly. Just as changing your car's filters on a regular basis has a significant impact on engine life, performance, and gas mileage, replacing your home's HVAC air filter on a monthly basis will help keep your system running efficiently. An easy way to remember to do this is to change your air filter every time you pay your utility bill. Air filters can be located in the wall, ceiling, or in the unit itself. You should have been shown the location of your filters during your new home orientation. We recommend that you keep a supply of air filters on hand. They can be purchased online, at your local hardware store, or even at supermarkets. Make sure to buy a filter that is the correct size for your system. Check the original filter itself for size specifications. Remember to install these filters with the arrows pointing in the same direction as the flow of the air, so that the air passes through the filter before being redistributed throughout your home. An easy way to remember this is to keep in mind that an air filter's main purpose is to clean the air before it reaches your system, so that the equipment stays cleaner for more efficient operation. Regularly changing your air filter is an easy task and an important responsibility that keeps your system running properly, helping you avoid higher heating and cooling costs. Another tip to remember is to make sure to keep your vents unobstructed. Along with the regular vents in each room, you have return air grills that allow the air to be recycled back into the HVAC system for reconditioning. As you decorate your home, make sure not to cover any vents with decorations or furniture, as this may prevent your ventilation system from working properly. Airflow. Your HVAC vents can also help regulate individual room temperatures by adjusting the amount of airflow to a specific room. For instance, if you live in a multi-level home, you may notice that the overall temperature varies from upstairs to downstairs. You can help keep the temperature steady throughout your home by adjusting your airflow vents. In the summer, try partially closing a few vents in the lower rooms of your home. This will increase the cool airflow to the upstairs. In the cooler months, simply reverse the process. Partially closing the vents in one room will increase the airflow to the next room. However, you should never completely close an airflow vent as this can cause it to act like a clogged filter, which could lead to operational problems. And finally, as part of your home maintenance plan, make sure that you periodically vacuum the vents to remove dust and prevent dirt buildup. Thermostat. Your home's HVAC system is controlled by one or more thermostats. Given the fact that this device has such a great impact on your monthly energy bill, you'll want to take the time to familiarize yourself with it. Be sure to read the manufacturer's information manual. As a general rule, the less you adjust your thermostat, the more efficiently the system will operate. You may think that you're saving money by adjusting the thermostat when you leave for short periods of time, but you're not. Constant temperature fluctuations may cause your system to overwork, leading to the possibility of system failure. To help your system during stretches of extremely hot or cold weather, simply leave it on the automatic setting at a comfortable temperature. Keep exterior doors and windows shut and draw the blinds during the day to keep out the hot sun. In order to keep your system operating at peak performance, you'll want to have it professionally serviced as outlined in the manufacturer's manual. Neglect or lack of proper homeowner maintenance can affect and even void the warranty. Mold and condensation. Another function of your HVAC system is to prevent high levels of humidity from accumulating in your home. Humidity is generated by various sources like showers, watering plants, and washing clothes. Furniture will actually absorb humidity in the summer and expel it in the winter. 
A great way to help avoid high levels of humidity is by keeping your home properly ventilated with the HVAC system running regularly. Do not shut down this system when leaving for vacation or long periods of time. Humidity can be a positive thing in your home, but too much of it can cause staining, warping, and can lead to mold. In order to help minimize the chance of condensation and mold developing, use your exhaust fans and bathroom fans to direct warm, moist air to the outside when bathing, cooking, or doing laundry. Keep indoor plants to a minimum and don't overwater them. Also keep in mind that it is a normal phenomenon for condensation to appear on windows when it's cold outside or in times of high humidity. Drain lines. You may notice one or two drain pipes located on the outside of your home. These pipes are designed to direct water created by your HVAC system away from your home. Water draining from these pipes is normal while the system is running. During the winter months or in periods of low humidity, you can expect small amounts of water drainage. While in warmer months or periods of high humidity, the amount of water will be greater. A system with two drain pipes, one being the primary drain line and the other being the secondary drain line, is designed so that the secondary drain line will act as an escape route for water should the primary drain line become clogged. However, if your system only has one drain pipe and there's no water flowing from it, this could mean that the pipe is clogged. If you notice this occurrence during your warranty period, contact us for appropriate action. If your warranty has expired, contact a licensed technician to address the situation. Failure to address this issue could result in water damage to your home.